captured Russian colonel claims Wagner tortured and raped his soldiers, a Russian army lieutenant colonel, who was recently captured and held briefly by members of Wagner Group before being released to Russian law enforcement, accused Yevgeny Prigozhin's forces of undermining the interests of the Russian military and enslaving his fellow soldiers. The video address follows another clip featuring Lt. Col. Roman Venevitin, released by Wagner's social media channels this week, in which he appeared to admit mining Wagner's escaped routes and ordering to fire on their positions while under the influence of alcohol. It marks another point of escalation in what is now an all-out conflict between the Wagner mercenaries and the Russian military leadership, signaling Prigozhin's growing political ambitions as the 15-plus month war in Ukraine continues. Wagnerites kidnapped my fighters, staff military. They used them as slaves. One of them, after being beaten up and raped, committed suicide, the Russian military commander said in a video on the Venevit in an underscore 72 telegram channel, apparently after being released. Newsweek could not immediately verify whether the channel was created and managed by Venevitin, someone affiliated to him or a third party. The former captive went on to make a number of other claims and accusations in an 11-minute video, which was also published on prominent pro-Kremlin channels, including Baza. Yevgeny Viktorovich, Prigoshin, you are openly discrediting the Russian armed forces, Venevitin said in what appeared to be a direct address to the Wagner founder, referencing the war fakes law under which hundreds of Russians have been jailed, some receiving decade-long prison sentences. After claiming that he has been relieved of duty following his release from Wagner captivity, Venevitin detailed being tortured by his Wagner captors, saying that Ukrainian military has never abused a prisoner as badly as Wagner did to him and his troops. He also accused Wagner of disinformation, refuting the claims that his forces mined Wagner's retreat path in Bakhmut. We didn't mind the PMC's rear positions, that's a lie. Mercenaries don't have rear positions, my, now former, brigade does. During the Ukrainian counteroffensive, you, Prigoshin, didn't just attack the general staff of the Russian army, you openly aided the enemy. You are discrediting the Russian armed forces, Yevgeny Viktorovich, Prigoshin. He also details his alleged experience of being tortured by the Russian paramilitaries, including sleep deprivation and beatings, saying that the video of his apparent confession was filmed under duress. This week Prigozhin dubbed Russian President Vladimir Putin's chef for his past work in catering, and known as the founder of the Russian troll farm, posted the confession video accusing Venevitin, and the Russian military, of trying to stifle Wagner's activities in Ukraine. He denied that the lieutenant colonel was held captive and said he was handed into custody of the Russian authorities. In another video, the Wagner chief threatened to march his mercenaries to Moscow and said he fears the Russian government could carry out a nuclear strike on its own region of Belgorod. Newsweek reached out to the Russian Ministry of Defense via email for comment.